Morning guys. I'm here working on the uh, Allen 400. It's a hydrostatic. Anyway, you don't really see many videos of people working on these things, I guess, because I don't, I don't know if a lot of people work on them, but unless you're a dealer or something, you know. But anyway, when I first started, I didn't have nobody show me nothing, man. I tried to YouTube how, what this does and that does, and <laughs> there's nothing. I didn't find nothing. But anyway, this one's been in the back of the shop for a while. We uh, got a subcontractor who wanted to keep it, you know, keep it here for a while because they didn't have nowhere to store it. So I figured I'd get it out today and uh, go through it, check it out, see what's going on with it, you know. So I noticed when I brought it out, it had a wobble to it. It was bouncing. And... I drove it from the back of the shop, which is back here behind the wall, and I drove it back up here, and it was, it was wobbling pretty good. So, anyway, I uh, I got I was checking the arms. Usually, if they wobble, that means that you have an arm bent, which is hold these blades on this piece here. They usually bend. If you drop them or you set them down too hard, it'll bend them. It'll bend the arms on it. Bumps on the interstates. We have had a lot of problems out of those. Anyway, you have a stabilizing ring on the outside. It's got an Allen screw that goes in the ends of them. What this does kind of just keeps them together, you know, keeps them from flying off or kind of helps hold like a brace. But I was going around and I was checking all of them to make sure that they was all pretty good shape, you know, shake them up and down. Make sure that they, that they turn, because this when they turn, it's your pitch. Up in here is your, uh, your screw for your pitch. This is your spot, your... Uh, thrust bearing up here, it turns. Whenever you pitch your blades, it pulls this piece up and it actually pivots and it pushes down on this piece and it makes your blades go up and down. So, but anyway, I was going through and I was checking all of them, seeing what's going on with them, make sure they all turn and they, you know, snug. Well, I got on this side, which you can see I've already got part of it apart. I got my stabilizing ring loose. Right here's the hole. I took, a, I have one arm that was broke. So I went ahead and pulled it out. Anyway, here's your arm. I've got the I've got the blade off of it. As you can see, under the thrust bearing, I put a wedge over on this side, just the in between the spider. This is your spider, the bottom piece. And uh, I put a wedge in there to hold that thrust bearing up, just so I can get the arm out. You have to do that to pull your arm. There's a act a nine sixteenth bolt up in here. You take it loose. I went and got it already pre took out make the video a little quicker. But anyway, you just take this and you pull it and turn it and that comes up. Okay, so once you have this out, I'm gonna walk it over here. This piece, this bolt actually goes in this slot and it's slotted like that so that way your, your arms will turn. So that may help you out. Anyway, all right, so let's see what we got. Since I took this arm off, this is a special jig that they make to uh, set your adjustment on your pitch for your blades. So this arm here is not broke, so I'm gonna use it as my measurement for my height on my pitch, because you gotta have all the all your pitch has to be the same. That way you're not that way you're not running it, and then you got one blade that's this screw over here has got too loose and it's flat and then you got your blades pitched and then you got this over here it's all the way down and then you're running one flat one up it's just gonna wobble and you're not gonna get a true floor so pretty much that's what this does this right here is a jig it's uh you just put your arm in like this and it slides in the end of it you got two screws here that clamps it down and then here's the screw up here we welded another piece on here to make it a little longer because we have multiple size machines we have a 550s we have allen or allen 550 hd 550s we have 600s we have 400s we have a little six foot or eight footers but anyway under the bottom here you got a you got your screw and you got a gap so i'll tighten everything down i'll put the camera up here and i'll tighten it all down and i'll show you what we got from there So, make sure your jig, make sure your arm's all the way back. I think they sell these at, uh, they'll sell them at, like, at the Allen Suppliers. I'm sure, like, uh, uh, 
I know sales in Nashville, Tennessee. They, I'm pretty sure you could probably get one through them, or uh, you could probably get one through uh, Power Rentals. They they're an Allen dealer. And let the business back up. I got it too far over. All right, so all I'm gonna do is set this. I'm gonna slide it back to where I've got the. Where I've actually got this piece under my ball. That way it's all lined up. Make sure my arm's back. So now, now I got that snugged up, I will, uh, I've got a filler gauge. I'll take, I'll just, you want to put a filler gauge under the bottom to get your, your hot, your hot, or I guess your thickness. Let me get this back out. As you can see, under the bottom, I put a filler gauge in between here. That way I know that way I know how much gap I have. That way I can set my next one to the same. Because like I was saying, you have to have them all set the same. That's the tricky part. You can't just pull one arm off and replace it and then uh, put it back on. You have to pull at least two arms because you have to use, you have, usually have to use one for like a pattern to make sure that you get your pitch set the same. And then sometimes I'll take all the arms off and then I'll check all these and I'll reset all my, my screws, which is this one. I'll reset all these just to make sure that I don't have no loose ones or one that gets the adjustment. Over time, these will wear a flat spot where your thrust bearing rides on it. It'll flatten flatten these out, but you can probably can't see it too good. There's a little bit of a flat one on that one. It's still pretty good though. But these will wire down and then it'll, it'll adjust your pitch. You'll have one blade that won't be pitched as much and it'll have a little bit of a bounce to it. So, all right. So I've got that set and I know this is my thickness of my height that I need to have for my, that I need to have for my pitch. So I'll take this piece out and I'll put my new arm in. It's not a new arm, it's new to the machine, but it's something we have back on the shelf that I've took off up machines over the last couple of years. Sometimes I'll replace them out just to make sure we get a true flat floor, you know, cause you want everything to be, be in good standards whenever you have a high numbers to hit. All right, so this piece actually goes on. It's got a hole here. This, this screw here just locks down in it. It kind of keeps it, kind of like a preset. It keeps it from turning. And that's a 10 millimeter. So you'll just tighten it, tighten it down. Once you get it good and tight, there's a, actually a lock nut on the back here that locks it, that keeps it from backing back up, loosening up. All right, so I'm gonna put this new one in the jig about the same place that I had my last one. Make sure it's pushed over. Now I'll tighten this and back up. This should preset this new arm to the to match the one that's already on it. That way you don't have to worry about putting it together and you have one that's not pitched right and all that makes it a little bit of aggravating. So I'll take my filler gauge now that I got this one in the jig and I look under the bottom. See, I can't get that in. So what I'll do now is take a, uh, I got a 19 millimeter, which is actually like a three quarter. You'll loosen this nut here, which I already got it loose. And then there's a 10, 10 millimeter. Or was it? No, it ain't 10, I forgot, it's 9 16 my bad. Anyway, 9 16 so I'll loosen. I'll loosen this up, which actually, you know, I'll be tightening it, be, talk, be going down with it until I get my right, until I get my right height. There we go. It feels pretty good. All right, so then I got that set. So then what I'll do is I'll Snug this up real quick and then we'll go back from there. 
All right. So what I do is I take my three quarter and I hold it. Take my nine sixteenths and hold the top just to make sure that it don't turn. So I snug the rest of it up. Good. Okay. So that's how you set your pitch on your blades. And then we should be ready to install back on the machine. Alright. So now that we have this out of the way, my two arms. I brought one of the blades over here. It's kind of tricky to put blades on while they're off unless you've done it. Once you figure it out, then you can kind of get the hang of it because you have a, the machine is a, you have a left and a right. If you're sitting on the machine, your blades turn towards the middle. So this one's turning counter, or this one's turning clockwise. This one's turning counterclockwise. So you have a left and a right. And we'll get into that later on the spiders because the bolt that holds the spider on your bottom piece, it you have a left hand thread on the if you're sitting on it would be your right side. So we'll get into that on the later one. To, right now I'm just trying to show you how to set your blades and go, kind of just go through it and see what's going on with it. On this one, I've I've already got a pretty much a clean spot from where the blade came off, so that should tell me that it should go back on this way, that way. You got a right and left because if not, then I'll have to turn it around and put it toward this piece where it'd be like the right hand side. Kind of a little confusing, but you got a left and a right. But all you do is turn your blade around. And if you put these on while it's not on the machine, sometimes you'll put them on backwards. Then you just have to take them back off, put them back on. Turn them around. No big deal though. back on for the blade and then that one goes back on. Easy peasy. Alright. Sorry the video a little long, but I mean like I said man, these are, there's a lot to these things. Alright, and then I'll take this and I'll put it. Put it back up in that slot, which is up in there. Let me get over on this side. There you go. I put it up in there and I'll just, just wiggle it. Kind of push it. All right, come here, buddy. My machine is trying to run off on me. Yeah, that's what's got me. Right here, you have a. Oh. This is like a spring. Kind of. All right, yeah. These are here like a spring. They spring your blades back up whenever you're not you're not using them. They actually go behind the grease fitting on this side. This is the grease fitting loose. So. But yeah, they go behind it. They just go over the top of it. It's kind of like a little spring. You have to make sure that you put these, you put your blade back on the top of it. It's hard to hold this thing. Now we got it back on. See how the spring works? It kind of springs back up. All right, so let me see. I think I got a screw right up here. Yep. And right, I'll put this back up in here. Don't help having fat fingers doing this stuff. <laughs> All right, I'll give them six tenths. We'll grab a 15 too. Sometimes I break them loose with a 9 16. Then I use a 15 to uh, tighten or to just kind of run them up because 15 fits a little bit better. It's not so tight. Sometimes they're kind of kind of snug to turn. You get all that grease and stuff on. Them.
pause and do the time lap and all that stuff, but I tried that earlier. I was making this video a little bit earlier and uh, I tried to do the time lap and I paused it. Well, when I did it, uh, after a few minutes it cuts off. So that didn't really work too good. So I guess just have to stick it out with me for a minute. Let me get this snugged up. We'll grease it and then it should be good to go. Put it back together. Anyway, that should be. Should show you how to, to at least change your arms and uh, adjust your blades, adjust the pitch on your blades. That's all I'm saying. If you if you're doing them, the 400s ain't as bad because uh, you can pitch one side or the other, which 90% of the machines you can do that also, but. I know like on the Whiteman's, you have to, uh, we have the Whiteman STX. It's a, I think 12 foot, 10 or 12 foot, it's a big one. But uh, it, uh, it's got single side to pitch and then you can push a button and it pitches them both at the same time. So if you do it on them, you can have one side pitched. If you don't have their adjusters the same, one can be pitched, one side be pitched more than the other and it kind of throws it in. The, you know, not really a true floor. So you sometimes you have to do them all. It's just it's easier to press that one and then go off of it, and that way you know they're all the same. But I have this back. To, I have the blade the arm back in. I'm going to. Uh, you always want once you put your arm in, you want to kind of turn it, to make sure that it's free. Because if it's not free, sometimes this bolt can get in a bind. Whenever you put it in, it may not go in a slot good because it may not be back. And if it goes in a bind, then it won't, whenever you pitch your blades, it won't come back up. It'll it just make sure that, you know, they're free. All right, since we got that, I'm gonna grease this thing and then I'm probably gonna end this video. And I uh, hope it helps somebody out. If you like it, then uh, I don't know, I guess you hit follow or something. I mean, I'll try to post more videos of that, you know, as stuff comes up. And if you have any questions, you can comment on it. And I'll try to, uh, Try to get to you, try to help, you know, the first one I can help you with. I'll be happy to help. I'll get this grease going on here real quick. Sorry, it's hard to, it's hard to do this stuff with one hand, man. Yeah, these people do it. All right, so what I've done is, I put my grease gun on. I usually always watch until it starts coming out the side, which is in the corner, or you can see under the bottom. See how it's coming out. Oh yeah, she's coming out good. That tells me that it's greased. All righty. Then all you do is put back, put your ring back on, and you should be good to go. Hope it's helped, buddy. Thanks.